Good morning to all. My name is Dipti. I am going to show you how to configure clicker, remote clicker Akash on your server. As told by uh, Rajesh sir, like you have to download the clicker folder and the clicker PPT from the Moodle. I hope like everybody has downloaded it. So I will proceed with the installation of click, remote Akash clicker on your server. To start with, you have to download the clicker folder from the Moodle on your desktop. It consists of four files that is clicker apk, remote akash clicker dot xql which is in my xql dump, then remote akash clicker dot var which is the var of the website and remote clicker dot php. To start with, you have to open your terminal. For that, you can go to application, accessories, terminal or you can use a shortcut key that is control alt t. This will open your terminal. Now, you have to go to your desktop. For that, type cd desktop. Once you have done enter, you can use ls command to see what folders you have in your desktop. ls for right now I have two things on my desktop that is click a folder and presentation. Now cd to your click a folder, cd clicker and enter. Over here you can see ls, you can type ls command and see which all files you have in this clicker folder, ls enter. You can see there are four files, clicker apk is the apk which you have to install on your tablets. Right now I will proceed with, right now I will proceed with the first step that is how to put remote akash clicker var into web app folder of your Tomcat 6. Tomcat installation has already been told to you in previous sessions. So I hope like all the systems have Tomcat 6. To continue with installation of remote Akash clicker, we have to do few steps. That is in your terminal, you have to write sudo which will give the root privileges for the user sudo cp cp is used for copying the file from one location to another space remote akash clicker dot var this var folder you have to copy to your var slash var slash lib tomcat6 slash web apps. You have to copy this remote akash clicker to this folder that is var slash lib slash tomcat6 slash web apps. After writing the command you have to just enter. It will ask for password that is your root password of your system. Provide root password and click on enter. This is copy. Now the file has been copied to your system. Now we will proceed with the second step that is to copy the remote clicker.php to a folder that is in a location slash var slash ww. To copy it, we have to do the same uh, command that is sudo cp. So we will go to our terminal. Over here we will write sudo cp space remote clicker php then space slash var slash 
W W. Then you have to enter. Now the file has been copied to your folder slash var slash w w. Next step is is to restore your dump. For that we have to restore a file that is remote akash clicker dot xql in your my xql. I hope like all server has already installed my xql as its session was taken earlier. So, now we have to dump the file. For dumping the xql file, we have to write a command that is mysql space hyphen u space root space hyphen p less than remote akash clicker dot xql. This will dump the file of remote akash clicker in your mysql and it will ask for a password that is your mysql root password. I may repeat it is not your system root password, but it is a mysql root password. So, we will do that mysql hyphen u space root space p less than remote akash clicker dot xql. Click on enter, it will ask for a password which is your mysql root password. Provide that password and click on enter. Now, your dump has been restored in your mysql. Now, next step is, is to create a user. We want to create a user that is clicker underscore ui and for that we have to go to mysql command prompt. So, steps are mysql hyphen u space root space hyphen p and enter. It will ask for your root password of mysql. Provide the password and click on enter. Now, this is the command prompt of mysql. Over here, you have to create a user clicker underscore ui which will get for which we have to grant the permissions also. For creating the user, you have to type, this is the command to type to create a clicker underscore ui. The command is create space user space single quote clicker underscore ui single quote close at the rate single quote local host single quote close space identify space by space single quote clicker underscore ui single quote close semicolon. This is the command from which we can create a clicker underscore ui. So, we will do that. We have to write create user single quote clicker underscore ui single quote close at the rate single quote local host single quote close space identified space by space single quote clicker underscore ui single quote close semicolon enter. Now 
the clicker underscore UI user has been created for your MySQL. Now we have to grant the permission to this clicker underscore UI. So for that we have to write a command that is grant space all space privileges space on space star dot star space to space single quote clicker underscore ui single quote close at the rate single quote local host single quote close semicolon so now we will write it grant all privileges on star dot star to single quote clicker underscore ui single quote close at the rate single quote local host single quote close semicolon enter now we have also granted the permission for clicker underscore ui now we have to do some changes in my.cnf file which is present in slash etc slash mysql slash my.cnf this change is made in order to get the connection of mysql for more than 1000 uh, users it means that you can connect more than 1000 or like uh, nearly 1000 tablets to your server for that you have to first exit the command prompt by typing a command exit then you have to open the file my.cnf from the location slash etc slash mysql slash my.cnf for that you have to write a command that is sudo space gedit space slash etc slash mysql slash my.cnf this will open the my.cnf in gedit separate window. So we will do that. First exit the command prompt of your mysql. So write exit and enter. Now we have come out of the mysql command prompt. Now this step to make changes in my.cnf is sudo g edit space slash etc slash mysql my dot cnf so it's sudo g edit slash etc slash mysql slash my dot cnf and enter this has opened your cnf file in another window you can see cnf file look like this in this you have to search for a line that is max connection earlier the file you will see file like this when you open you will see the max underscore connections equal to 100 the change which you have to made is you have to remove hash from which is before the my max underscore connection and make the 100 to a 1000 then you have to save it you can save it by clicking on the save button which you see on the toolbar or either you can go to file and save it so save it and close it
So the changes are made to your CNF file. The last step is to restart your MySQL and Tomcat service. To restart your MySQL and Tomcat, you have to type two commands. For restarting your Tomcat, you have to do sudo space service space tomcat6 space restart and to restart your mysql you have to do sudo space slash etc slash init dot t slash mysql space restart you have to do sudo service tomcat6 restart and enter this has restart your tomcat service now you have to restart your mysql service for that sudo space slash etc slash init dot t slash mysql space restart and enter. Now your MySQL have also been restart. Now to check whether the software has been properly installed on your system, you can click on your browser. In this case I have already set the home page as localhost colon 80 80 slash remote akash clicker if your screen is not getting this page you can do one thing you can type http colon double slash local host colon 8080 slash remote Akash clicker and enter this URL in your browser. This will open a screen which will look like this. Now we have a one time registration process for the coordinator. For that they have to go before login they have to go to this link that is coordinator registration. So once you click on this, you will get a form which you have to fill. Over here you can type a username as per your choice. And set a password for your login. You have to retype that same password again for confirmation then your email id then over here you have to select your center for now as i am in iit bombay so i am selecting this and make sure that you are seeing also your center id you can see your center ID, it is concatenate with your center name. So check your center name and also the center ID properly. In case there are more than one centers with the same name, you have to be specified that you are selecting the proper center ID. So I have selected this one. It has a center ID which I have checked it and now I am creating the coordinator login. So once you are done with filling this form, you can just click on submit. So it will prompt you 
that you have selected your center name and with your id you can check your center id over here and it will ask for a permission that you are sure then you have to click on ok it will again prompt you with all the details that is your center name and the center id just click on ok and you are done with your registration this is for only for coordinator students are not like or participant are not required to do it it is for only coordinator and it is a one time registration now you have to again go to the login now over here you have to give your username and the password once you are done with this you have to just login you will see a welcome page and it will redirect to the quiz it's showing me my center name over here it's showing that it is waiting for the main center instructor to, to launch a quiz we have one more module for the coordinator that is the admin module what does admin module do it just deletes the participant id from your database this will help you while conducting another workshop with different participant who has different enrollment id or in case if you have like uh, the tablet is showing you duplicate entry or like tablet id already exists so in that case also you can just see the enrollment number over here and just select it and delete it or if you want to conduct a new workshop with a different participant you can click on delete all and you can delete it this will delete all the participant list from your database and a newly fresh um, registration of tablets can be done by this this is all for configuring the remote akash clicker once you are done with the quiz you can just log out i am going to show you some problems which you can face while connecting to our main center so once you are done with this that you are getting this remote akash clicker login and you are login with your username and password you may get a error that is network is unreachable or connection refuse this happened due to two things <coughs> one is that the web server is down or stop at the iit bombay or the connection problem at your site so you have to ensure that the web server you can like web server is down at the iit bombay this is like from our side but you have to also ensure that the internet connection for your remote center is properly done so in case you have not properly configure your remote center you will be able to see such kind of a message so now what you have to do we have to log out and again recheck your configuration so i am going to just log out then as i am using a wireless wifi connection so i will connect my system to the wifi so now it shows that wifi connection has been established one more thing you have to remember that you have to know the ip of your system on which you have made as a coordinate server so for that you have to go to terminal right if config this is the command to know your ip so right if config and enter so now you can see of it will be shown like what is your ip your ip is you can check it with inet address this is your ip that is 10. 129.26.170 this is ip for my center so i am going to use so this is inet 
address 10.129.26.178. This is my IP. You have to note down your IP that is uh, whatever IP it is showing. For now, I will note down my IP that is 10.129.26.178. I will tell you what you are supposed to do with this IP later. For now, I have note down my IP. So, I am closing it. Now, again I will log in. I have checked my net connection also. I have connected to the Wi-Fi. So, I am logging it. Now, as I have connected to the Wi-Fi, I am not able to see that error which was earlier coming. So, I am connected to the Wi-Fi. It is reading the main center that is the IIT Bombay. Now, I will tell you what are you supposed to do with the IP. For now, so this is the tablet. In that, you have a menu. So, you have to click on menu. The APK which you have got from the clicker folder, from the Moodle, you have to put in your tablet, installed it. So, you will see an icon that is name as clicker. You have to just click on that. Okay. It will show you two things to be entered for the participant. That is enter enrollment ID and enter server IP address. Server IP address is the same IP which I ask you to get it from the main center that is the coordinator server. For that you have entered the command that is ifconfig. We have to note out that IP address and you have to put it in your enter server IP address for every tablet. So, first I will enter the enrollment ID. So, it is 1247. Once you are done, you have to click on next. Now, done. Now, you have to enter your server IP address. That is the coordinate server IP. So, it is 10 dot. It is 10.129.26.178. This is the IP of the coordinate server. We have got it from the ifconfig command and this is the my coordinator server ID. Once you are done with this, you have to click on done. It is done. Now, you have to click on connect. Once you are properly connected, it will show you a welcome page for the participant. The tablet is connected to the coordinator server by a Wi-Fi system. So now, we will be launching a quiz from the main center. Once the quiz is launched, it will be first appear on the coordinate system which is showing now for waiting for main center instructor quiz is not launched from main center. Once quiz is launched, we can see it over here and that will be also available on the student tablet. So, we are waiting for the quiz. Now, quiz has been launched from the main center. So, we have got the quiz. It is a four question. Coordinator need not do anything. He has to just see whether he is receiving the quiz or not. Now, the participant has this quiz. They have to select their options, whichever they think is the right and click on next. They can also change the option for that they can go to question 1, question 2, question 3, question 4. So, I am going to question 1. 
I can change my option till the time is there for me. Once the time is over, the response will be gone to the coordinator system and from there it will be given to the main center. So, coordinator has to be ensured that he is connected with the main center. Now, the quiz has been ended and the participant can see their responses or results and again the coordinator page will be reading for the main center for another quiz. So, once you are done with the quiz, you can see that it is again reading or like waiting for the quiz to be launched from the main center. That is it for the coordinate side. 1284, please go ahead and ask your question. Sir, uh, my question is uh, in uh, the Ubuntu in which machine you install Ubuntu, the same PC you have to install the clicker software? Yes. Or where to install the clicker software? You have to install on the same PC where you have installed the Ubuntu, MySQL, Tomcat. Okay. Uh, and uh, this PC only one PC, right? Yeah, this is the only one but PC. You need only one PC. You yeah, only one PC. It will require everything. Which only means, one PC. Yeah. yeah, it will act as a coordinate and server. That PC, okay. And uh, that PC you have to um, make a um, uh, list for the coordinator list, my coordinator login. Yeah. Uh, just um, uh, confirming that that things that one PC will be ready using installing this type of software, right? Yes. And this will be ready before the workshop. Yes, it has to be ready before the workshop. Okay. Are a, any uh, other um, in the tab what will be provided by you if it is needed to install anything software? No, nothing. You have to just download that uh, folder and all the steps are given in the PPT. You have to follow that and installing the APK on the tablet will be done afterwards. In another session it will be taught. Yeah, tell okay, me. Ma madam, one question that ma in from which PC we using that AVU classroom, right? In that particular PC we operating the Ubuntu or prepare another PC? It will be better if you can prepare another PC having the Linux and all the software installed in that. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Center 1281, please go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, I want to know what is the use of PHP? That PHP file is used for communicating between the tablet and the server. But uh, we are not discussing, uh, we are not using that one in our uh, laptop. You have to just put that PHP file in the server as I have already told in a specific path that PHP will be communicating with the database for the tablets. Okay ma'am, thank you very much. Okay. 1015. Whenever we are entering the link local host. 8080 remote clicker. Okay. Uh, we, okay. We are getting that particular home page, but when we are trying to click on the coordinator's uh, registration uh, link, we are having a HTTP error uh, 500. So that's the question. Uh, for what purpose this error is been there? It is because of database. Have you set the privileges and create the user clicker underscore UI? Yeah, yeah, we have created the user as well as we have set up the privileges for the same. And the password and the username is clicker underscore UI. Okay, ma'am. So I think we are not set the password for that one. Okay. So for, by the command that. Uh, Make sure that. That is a cre create user clicker underscore UI local host. You okay, just identified by that that yeah. command we have to use, na? Yeah, you have to use that uh, command. So you just go with the PPT. We have written all the commands which you have to carry out on your system. Okay, okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Good morning, ma'am. Yeah, good morning. Ma'am, we are uh, very clear. We are very clear with the server installation, and uh, we are installing the clicker software. Okay. That is fine. We have doubts regarding Akash tablet. 
once we get those akash tablets either 2 or 40 later on okay what and all should be installed in that software what and all should be installed in the akash what will it contain already it will contain android okay should we install ubuntu clicker and other things nothing you have to just install the clicker apk which is in the folder on the tablets on the tablets how so what is the uh, connectivity between that is it wired connectivity for installation no it's a wireless connectivity wireless connectivity okay sir was talking about uh, wi-fi which we have to procure so yeah. uh, what about the details of the uh, details of the wi-fi connector and other things will you send mail on those things what and all should be procured after this uh, qs uh, qs section the serve will be addressing you and telling you about the wi-fi and all the details so, okay, uh, for uh, the server PC, for example, the PC in which we are installing, uh, that we had a brand new system that we are using here. So, when you are going to reimburse the amount, uh, should we give the bill of this one or uh, yeah, in what way? Yeah. Uh, the, the same thing, or we should buy a new system and a Wi Fi router and other things, for especially for this one. Uh, we will have to ask with the FATAX or the admin team and we will let you know. Okay, then, then uh, through Wi-Fi we have to install clicker in the uh, Akash, is it right? You have to just connect the tablets to the Wi-Fi system, that's it. And the configuration of Wi-Fi and everything would be like done in next section by the sir. You can just ask your question, that's it. Oh, okay, okay. Ma'am, regarding the user, uh, user name, that is for uh, the coordinator. Okay. Where, where will I get it? No, you can uh, enter your name also. It's fine. Anything which you can remember while login. Okay. Well, if I do it now, I have to uh, retain it permanently. Is it so? Yeah. In case you or have any... can I make changes? Uh, in case you have any problem, you can just uh, rename, uh, like uh, again restore the dump. Okay. 1008. Coordinator registration not works, madam. What error is showing? It's showing here some error after registration. I'm click on the This is uh, due to the database connection. Due Have to database connection? Huh. We already you run the Apache and uh, Tomcat server restarting. This registration, coordina coordinator registration, Have you are you doing it twice or something like that? No, 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 madam. We, we are only single uh, doing it. This problem with the database, just do one thing, restore the dump again and uh, like proceed with the steps which is given in the PPT for uh, XQL. Uh, once again do it for only my XQL part, the restoring of dump, creating the user and setting all the privileges for that user. Do this and again try to do the registration. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yes, double one two seven. Go ahead and ask your question, ma'am. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to ask. There is this uh, link which is provided. HTTP localhost eight eight zero eight zero. Yes. I'm trying to open up that link uh, through the browser, but it's not getting open up over there. The for the clicker. Yes. Uh, to create the username and login for the coordinate to OPTP localhost 8080. Uh, that one, I am trying to get, open it through the browser, but it is not getting open up. Have you so installed the any problem, Like if I am doing it correctly or is there any other way I am supposed to do it? Have you like um, deployed the var? Installed the? Sorry? Have you copied the var in Tomcat? Uh, so basically my question is that this link can it be open from anywhere or it has to be opened up from the, uh, on the system uh, where server have, itself? Uh, where it will be open from the system where you have installed everything. It won't be open from any other system. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so that I was trying to do it from some other system. So, so maybe it because won't of work. that it is not working. I'll try it out. Uh, but before opening the link, do I need to uh, that clicker thing and then only it would open or it's end of that? Yeah, you have to like follow the step which is given in the uh, PPT. I'll repeat, do I need to first install the clicker? Yes, you have to. Okay, okay, thank you. 1082. 
मैम सर्वर क्लास मशीन चाहिए इसके लिए या नॉर्मल मशीन पे काम हो जाएगा मैडम इसके लिए नॉर्मल मशीन पे भी चल जाएगा रिस्टोर कीजिए उसको और फिर यूजर बनाइए क्लिकर अंडर्स को यू आए उसको प्रिविलेजेस दीजिए उसके बाद ही ये वर्क करेगा सारी बातें पीपीटी में लिखी हुई है आप पीपीटी फॉलो कीजिए या वन जीरो फाइव सिक्स एवरीथिंग इज ओके बट वन वी आर चेकिंग वेदर क्लिकर कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इज डन सक्सेसफुली और नॉट Uh, we are giving one command that is uh, http colon double uh, slash localhost colon 8080 it is giving that no such file or directory in the terminal it is giving that error but when we are giving the same command in the browser we could open that akash clicker remote uh, browser yeah that one only you have to type it in the browser for like showing you the link i have written in the command prompt You don't have to write it in command prompt. Okay, okay. Thank you, madam. Okay. One two five six. Uh, regarding the enrollment ID. Regarding the enrollment ID, what is the number that we have to give it? Like at the time of getting connected to the Aka stamp, we need to enter the enrollment ID. So who is going to allocate this ID? Enrollment ID is unique for each participant. While they have registered for this workshop. they would have get that enrollment id that enrollment id all participant knows so they will be entering their enrollment id in that app when we are conducting any quiz 1092 madam i am facing the same problem that was of st francis institute that my sir, machine is not able to connect through proxy server so should i use a public ip or private ip which will be forwarded through proxy for ubuntu server um yeah, so just mail that uh, like error whichever you are getting to the same mail id which we have given in the chat also we will uh, like uh, reply you back okay ma'am thank you okay 1123 uh, actually i want to ask uh, can you tell me uh, the proxy server of the iit bombay that we have to connect actually we have uh, configured everything but when we have going to run a clicker dot php it shows the error why are you running clicker.php uh, actually that you have already mentioned during uh, the previous session before question i had i didn't you ask you said uh, that uh, you have to i didn't ask you to run php i just ask you to copy the php to a specific folder have you followed the ppt which is on no need to run the php Yeah, definitely. I have follow all the instruction that you given on that PDF and PPT for the installation of the clicker, and we have uh, also give the right to the where www folder to all seven seven seven. But uh, when we are going to run from the browser, uh, it doesn't work. What you are running from the browser? Uh, local host colon eight zero eight. Okay. Then slash remote clicker. Remote Akash clicker. But it doesn't show anything. It's remote. Remote Akash clicker dot php. No, you don't have to run the Hello? php. Hello. Can you repeat this step on your uh, terminal? Okay, I'm repeating that. You just check it out. Yeah, what we do? Okay, you have to write. Uh, okay. Just see the chat window. We are writing it on chat. You have to write only this. Don't try to run the PHP. PHP is not for running on the browser. You have to just copy the PHP in a particular path, which is being mentioned in the PPT. Before that, you have to start the Tomcat. Restart the Tomcat service. It's okay, working, ma'am. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. One zero three four. Word. Ma'am, I wrote only I mentioned in your slide number thirteen. Uh, the grant all permissions to dot star dot means dot star means to the databases which we uh, which we have on uh, the server. We have two to three databases, and if I edit that dot dot star dot, then it will create a problem for the clicker the clicker user 
means the cli user clicker can edit all the databases instead of star uh, star dot star can i use the database name remote clicker akash yeah you uh, can use it star and is it mandatory to use the same uh, username and password yes clicker underscore ui yes it's mandatory to use that same username and password for the database okay fine thank okay. you 1994 so whenever uh, I am trying uh, the root password over here, it not uh, takes the password and 1045 error is uh, arising over there. You have not specified the root password while installing MySQL. In that command, just remove that hyphen P. Uh, after removing hyphen P, it will take, no? Ha, it will take. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you, madam. Okay. I am trying it. Okay. 1259. Madam, uh, Akash tablet are used under the Wi-Fi only, it is a compulsory or no? Yes, it is compulsory. We can connect uh, with the wire connection or no, this Akash tablet? No, you can't. Okay. Yeah, tell For me. every testing we use one PC. I didn't get For another uh, installation we, we need to use another PC. For which installation? That clicker software and all that. Uh, you can put it in the same server for uh, like which coordinator is going to use. For AV testing that uh, same uh, PC is no, no, used. Not for AV testing. The AV testing machine has to be different and all other things are to be uh, installed on different computer. Okay sir, thank you. Madam, the PPT is on the top of Tomcat 6. और जो मॉडल का यूआरएल है उसके ऊपर टॉमकट 7 अपलोडेड है आप टॉमकट 7 में भी डाल सकते हो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है ओके थैंक यू मैडम थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू